In this video, we will show how to calculate power and efficiency for this basic circuit with a single battery, LED, and current limiting resistor. In the earlier videos in this playlist, which are linked in the description of this one, we cover how to choose this current limiting resistor value to prevent your LED from burning out, or how to calculate the current through the LED in a circuit with a known resistor value. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about the power dissipation in the circuit, since some of the power from the battery is dissipated as heat in the resistor, and how you can make some changes to improve the efficiency of your circuit by delivering more of that power to the LED. We're going to use our example circuit from the previous video where we already know the values. We have a battery voltage of nine volts, an LED voltage drop of two volts, a resistor value of 220 ohms, and a current of 31.8 milliamps. If you want to see where all those values came from, again, you need to go check out the other videos linked in the description of this one. What we're interested in now is given all of these values, what is the total power supplied to the circuit by the battery? How much of that power is actually delivered to the LED? How much of it is delivered or dissipated in the resistor? And then what is the overall efficiency of the circuit? The main equation we are going to need to do that is P equals IV, or electrical power in watts equals current in amps times voltage in volts. Since this is a simple circuit where all three components are in series, we know that the current I through all three of them is always going to be the same, but the voltage drop across each component will be different. Calculating that first for the battery, we have P equals IV equals the current 31.8 milliamps, and I'm going to rewrite that as amps when doing the calculations, so 0.0318 amps times the voltage of the battery, which is nine volts. That gives a power supplied to the circuit by the battery of 0.2862 watts, or 286.2 milliwatts. Moving on to the resistor, we can use P equals IV, but for a resistor, you can also substitute Ohm's law, V equals IR, into this equation to write it in two different forms. It can also be P equals I squared R, or P equals V squared over R, so you can just use whichever one of these you think is the most convenient, depending on the variables you already know. In this case, I'm gonna use the I squared R version, so I have 0 0.0318 amps squared times 220 ohms, and that gives a power of 0 0.222 watts or 222 milliwatts dissipated as heat by the resistor. Finally, for the LED, we again have P equals IV, 0 0.0318 amps times two volts equals 0 0.0636 watts or six point, excuse me, 63.6 milliwatts. So we can already tell just by glancing at these numbers that a lot of the power in this circuit is dissipated by the resistor, 222 milliwatts compared to only 63.6 milliwatts for the LED. So now we will actually calculate some percentages and the overall efficiency represented by the Greek letter eta here, depending on which textbook or website you look at here, they might use a different variable for efficiency, but we'll get the overall efficiency of the circuit. Before we do that, I should also point out that you can apply conservation of energy here. So we know that the power supplied to the circuit by the battery has to equal the sum of the power delivered to the LED and the power delivered to the resistor. The power can't go anywhere else and we are modeling an ideal circuit here, so we're ignoring, for example, resistance in the wires or internal resistance in the battery, whereas in the real world, you would have additional power dissipated other places in the circuit. But for here, we're considering an ideal circuit where we just have the battery, the resistor, and the LED. What that means is that if you calculate any two of the powers, you can then calculate the third power using this equation. So let's now calculate the actual percentage of power delivered to the resistor. I don't really have a good variable name for this, so I'm just going to call it percent of power delivered to resistor. That is going to be the resistor power divided by the battery power. So we have 222 milliwatts divided by 286.2 milliwatts. 
and that gives about 77 and a half percent so more than three quarters of the power in this circuit is dissipated by the resistor instead of being delivered to the led so we can already tell that this isn't a very efficient circuit and we are having a lot of waste heat in that resistor as for the overall efficiency of the circuit eta we are interested in how much power is delivered to the led so we have p led over power of the battery, but it's important to note that LEDs themselves, and I just realized that I forgot to have my little light indicator arrows drawn on my LED there, LEDs themselves are not 100% efficient. They do not convert 100% of their input electrical energy to light. They also convert some of that energy to heat. And you might not always be able to find that value easily in a data sheet for cheap LEDs, but we're just going to use a factor of 0.5 as a very rough estimate for the efficiency of LED, meaning an LED converts 50% of the input electrical energy to light and the other 50% is dissipated as heat. So if we want to actually calculate an overall efficiency value for this circuit, so how much of the electrical energy delivered from the battery is actually converted to light, we plug in our LED power and our, oops, we have watts not volts there, LED powder, power and our battery power with that extra factor of 0.5 and we get an overall efficiency of just over 11% for this circuit. Now, there are a couple ways that we could improve that efficiency. One is to use a lower voltage battery. You may have noticed that we have a 9 volt battery here, but we only have a 2 volt drop across our LED, meaning we are dropping 7 volts across that resistor. That is a lot of power that's just being dissipated by this resistor without really for any reason. We don't need a 9 volt battery to power an LED that only requires a 2 volt voltage drop. So one way to do this if you are using common household batteries would be to drop down from a 9 volt battery to something like a AA battery pack. AA batteries provide 1.5 volts each so you can put two of them in series to get 3 volts, three of them in series to get 4.5 volts, four of them in series to get six volts, and so on. So you could restart the problem. You would need to go back to the earlier videos in the series, again linked in the description of this one, to analyze this circuit with, say, a six volt battery or a three volt battery, choose a resistor value, given a target current for the LED, and then again, if you don't actually have that resistor value handy, you would need to go to the next largest resistor value in your resistor kit, calculate the new current, calculate the power dissipated by the resistor to make sure you're not burning out the resistor and then you could come back and recalculate the efficiency of your circuit and see how much it has increased and again I am not going to go through all of those calculations again in this video you can find all of those earlier steps in the other videos in this series linked in the description of this one Another interesting possibility that we will cover in a future video in this playlist is putting more LEDs in series with the first LED. That way more of the voltage is dropped across the LEDs and less of it is dropped across the resistor. In this case, if I put another LED in series, I would have 2 volts dropped over each LED for a total of 4 volts dropped over both of the LEDs and then only 5 volts dropped over the resistor. Sorry, the drawing is getting a little cluttered there. Again, I'm not going to go through that calculation in this video, but you can find it in one of the future videos in this playlist linked in the description of this one.